The other day I was out flying my DJI Mavic 3. I had flown about 2100 feet from my location to this fish house and I decided to capture a video using the DJI Fly app master shot feature. As I neared the end of the master shot, I lost the video signal and telemetry information for the Mavic 3. And it never came back. After the break, let's find out what happened to the Mavic 3. Did it return to home, fly away, decide to land, or did it crash? When I lost the video feed and telemetry data from the Mavic 3, I was located right underneath this arrow. The Mavic 3 last known location was over the fish house below where this image was captured, and I was located about 2100 feet away. When the video feed was lost, I waited for a couple minutes, and I fully expected the Mavic 3 would return to home, and somewhere along the way home, it would reconnect. However, it did not come back. I did not bother to hit the return to home button on the remote control for some reason, probably because I was thinking the remote was severed from the Mavic 3, therefore pushing the button would have no impact. And then I realized I needed to go out to the last known location of the Mavic 3. Perhaps it had crashed and I would find it in pieces all over the lake, or maybe it flew off in some random direction and I would never find it again. Or maybe it would be either hovering near the fish house or landed on the ice. I was thinking the worst, as in four years of flying I've never had a situation where the DJI app lost video feed and never regained it. As I approached the location I could see the Mavic 3 was on the ground. I was wondering if it was going to be in several pieces or all together. During the panic and chaos of the situation, perhaps I had pressed the down stick to land? Did it land on its own? I really couldn't remember. As I came closer to the Mavic 3, I could see it was still on the ice and it still had two power LEDs flashing. That means it did not land due to low power. The RCN1 remote and my tablet still did not connect to the Mavic 3 even when I was standing right next to it. I powered off the remote and closed the app. I opened them again and waited for a second and I did receive the video feed from the Mavic 3, but then it went away again. To get them all to function together again required closing the DJI Fly app, powering off the remote, and powering off the Mavic 3, then powering them back on again. After that everything was normal and I was able to fly without issue. On my way back to shore I realized maybe I panicked during the disconnect and I did not read the warning correctly. Did a warning appear after signal loss indicating aircraft disconnected? Or did it say RC not connected? In the past, every time I have lost video feed and telemetry when using the DJI Mavic Air, Mavic 2 Pro, and Mavic 3, it's always been because the aircraft disconnected to the remote due to RF issues. In each of those cases, the Mavic drones returned to home automatically. Perhaps the actual issue was between the RCN1 remote and the iPad Pro it was connected to. If true, if I had hit the return to home button on their RCN1, the Mavic 3 likely would have returned home as expected. When the Mavic 3, RCN1, and mobile device are all connected together, the RCN1 LEDs will be solid. There may be a single flashing LED which reflects the remaining strength of the battery as it's depleting. When the Mavic 3 disconnects from the RCN1, you need to keep in mind the DJI Fly app will indicate aircraft not connected to RC. The RCN1 LEDs which reflect remaining power will all blink together. That means that there is no connection between the aircraft and the RCN1. And keep in mind you have no control over the Mavic 3 from the RCN1. In this situation you must wait for the Mavic 3 to return to home or come back within RF range where you can then control it. If the mobile device is disconnected from the RCN1, the DJI Fly app will indicate RC not connected to mobile device. When this occurs the RCN1 LEDs will be solid which reflects there is a link to the Mavic 3 still. One LED might blink, which reflects the battery charge status of the RCN1. As it depletes, usually it goes from solid to blinking, and then the light goes out. So keep that in mind. The blinking does not necessarily mean that you're disconnected if there are other solid LEDs still lit. In this situation, you do have control over the Mavic 3 from the RCN1. You can press the return to home button so it will come back to you, or you can fly the Mavic 3 back manually if it's in line of sight. In this situation, you might consider unplugging the USB cable from the mobile device temporarily and then connecting it again to see if the link between the RCN1 and the mobile device is re-established. Also, you might consider restarting the DJI Fly app. Although the cause of the event may never be known, perhaps we can learn from what might have been poor judgment on my part. 
At the time of the issue, I thought the RF link between the remote and the Mavic 3 was lost. If that were true, the Mavic 3, however, would have returned to home. The fact that the Mavic 3 did not return to home likely means the warning was for a disconnect between the RCN1 remote and my iPad. If that is true, I could have resolved the issue by simply pressing the return to home button on the RC and then the Mavic 3 would come back to me. So perhaps learn from my poor judgment as illustrated in this video. Be aware of the difference between aircraft not connected to RC and RC not connected to mobile device. Also be aware what the LEDs on the RC N1 remote control are indicating to you. Are they indicating the Mavic 3 is connected or disconnected? Although I hope you never have an issue with your Mavic 3 when it's out flying, if you do have a video disconnect, hopefully you can remember back to this video and make the proper assessment of the warning message and then take the appropriate action. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.